Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us here on News 5 at 5. I'm Rob Quirk. And I'm Lisa Leiden. We start tonight with a big announcement that could give Southern Colorado a nice economic boost. Our considerable talent and resources are a major draw and perfectly positioned Colorado to be the national leader in one of the most important emerging industries in the world, cybersecurity intelligence. Governor John Hickenlooper announces plans to create the National Cybersecurity Intelligence Center right here in Colorado Springs. He shared the news during his State of the State address this morning. The governor says the center has the opportunity to become the country's authority on cybersecurity, research development, and training. And the governor says the center would help business detect, prevent, and recover from threats and hacks. News 5's Andy Cohen joins us live from Denver. And Andy, what would this mean for our community? Well, you know what, guys? Local uh, uh, local community leaders were up here, including Mayor John Southers and UCCS Chancellor Pam Shockley Zalabak, to hear that big announcement. And they think this is terrific news. If you think about it, as technology increasingly becomes a part of our daily lives, it, protecting these kind of devices from hackers, that's growing into a very big business. Now, in his speech today, the governor had shared a vision for the center as becoming America's foremost authority on cybersecurity, research, training, and education. Colorado Springs is uniquely situated to host such a center because of the training pipeline that already exists at UCCS, as well as the large network of civilian and Defense Department employees, about 80 of them, employers, excuse me, in the community who specialize in this industry. A state Senator Kent Lambert will carry a bill this year to help organize the funding and make sure that the center becomes a reality. We will be working with the governor's office to scope this out because there will be uh, a variety of different kind of funding sources, in some cases private sources that we will probably have to handle through the state. We need to create the, uh, the legal vehicles to do that. A lot of communities want to do something like this. We've got to move very, very, very quickly. The governor's totally on board, uh, totally dedicated, and I really appreciate him, uh, his support of this effort. Jobs and the economy, just a part of the governor's speech as he also spent a good amount of time talking about cooperation and bipartisanship. And we will hear more about his comments along those lines and explain what that has to do with the upcoming state budget battle in our next report at 6 o'clock. Andy Cohen.